A cyst is a tissue cavity covered by a small top of skin, epithelium, which can consist of several smaller chambers, usually containing a liquid or pulp. In dentistry, a cystectomy is one way to treat a cyst. It means removal of a cyst, scraping it out. A cystectomy is the preferred method of treating cysts in the head and neck. A cystostomy, an opening up of the cyst, is often performed first. The picture shows an x-ray of a skull, with a definite bulge in the lower left jaw, a so-called follicular cyst. The cyst is too large to be removed, since the lower jaw may break, and the size of the cyst can be guessed from the deformation it causes. The first treatment used is a cystostomy. In this procedure, a cyst is drilled and a pipe is inserted, which leads out into the mouth. This allows the cyst to become smaller over the course of a few months. You can picture this as a hot air balloon gradually losing air. When the cyst or balloon has gone down to a certain size, a cystectomy is performed. Aside from treating large cysts, a cystostomy is also useful when, for example, major anatomical structures are located near the cyst and may be damaged during the removal of the cyst. Once the cyst has shrunk, a cystectomy is performed, the surgical removal of the cyst. This is shown here, the removal of a reticular cyst, caused by faulty root treatment of a front tooth. The membrane has been flipped open and a thin layer of bone covering the cyst has been removed. Now the cyst is scraped out using a sharp scoop. After a cystectomy, the wound is closed by the method of primary closing. The remaining bone defect usually continues to bleed. Blood vessels then start to grow into this coagulated blood and later on bone starts to form. If the bone defects are more serious, for example after the removal of larger cysts, this healing process may not run as smoothly. The animation shows a hole in bone matter containing red coagulated blood. A larger amount of coagulate usually contracts more, even to the point where it has no more contact to the sides of the wound. But in this case, blood vessels cannot grow into the wound. Instead, the coagulate disperses, causing the buildup of pus. To avoid this problem, an attempt can be made to stabilize the coagulate and impede its contraction. For example, by filling up the empty space with a granulate made of materials used to replace bone, as shown here. This keeps the coagulate from contracting. Vessels can grow from the sides of the wound, which is the basis for subsequent bone regeneration.